This is not the Alps, but a place far away from home. Ever wonder what it's like to cycle in Taiwan? Join me on this thousand kilometers cycling adventure as we traverse the island from north to south. Full of culture, breathtaking landscapes, and challenging climbs. Are you ready to explore? Good morning, day one of the cycling trip here in Taiwan. So we're gonna cycle for seven days. I'm here in Taipei. Um, we're gonna ride off Taipei out of the city. It will be like around 130 kilometers, so really excited. Let's do it. Our seven day cycling adventure starts in Taipei. From there, we will make our way through the mountains going from west to east, and then following the coastal road all the way to Kenting traversing the island and completing a route of a thousand kilometers. So here you also have a pretty nice cycle lanes, very smooth. Reminds me to the Netherlands a bit. <laughs> So first coffee break of the trip, huh? <laughs> we just had a free photo session there. <laughs> so let's see, I'm really curious to try Taiwanese coffee on the road <laughs> as a good cyclist. Wow, pretty amazing views here, like a lake or something. I'm happy that it's sunny today. A lot of people walking in the area. Seems like a popular place. It's a Shiman Reservoir. Shiman? Shiman Reservoir. Hmm. We are here in a small uh, road now and now the climbing starts. Beautiful area. As we made our way from Taipei into the mountains, the landscape started to change and the roads became really quiet. We are here, going up the climbs, <laughs> the warm-up for what is coming the next few days, let's see. Yeah. Yes. Pretty awesome. The views. <laughs> Why a polar bear His in Taiwan? His name is Joe. Yeah. He's a polar bear, yeah? Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he loves ice cream. He's still chilly. <laughs> chilly. It's actually quite chilly for the locals. It's like 18 degrees. Taiwan is a perfect winter escape. In January, temperatures are around 19 degrees, but it's the off season, so most places and roads are very quiet because it's quite chilly for locals, but perfect for cyclists like me. So time for coffee break or matcha break. I must say the roads here in Taiwan are super good. I don't know, like really smooth and uh, now we're getting into a more quiet area and in the mountains it's like wow. Wow, 
wow, so beautiful. So feeling a bit the lunch <laughs> after lunch I climb to burn this matcha waffle. Was really nice. We are at the top of the climb, the swastika ah. <laughs> climb. <laughs> So quick supermarket stop at 7-Eleven, resupply some snacks. Mm, don't know what to choose. <laughs> Last climb of the day, quite a steep one. She can't take it, Captain. She's going to blow. Looks like a horror movie. Uh oh. It's scary. <laughs> Those were some steep climbs. So we are in the area of our hotel, in the mountains with views. And uh, there's some hot springs I heard, so I'm definitely gonna check these ones out. Made it to the hotel, Japanese inspired. day two here in Taiwan so we stay up in the mountains in a really nice hotel and now time to hit the climbs of the day there's gonna be a steep one at the beginning so good to warm up the legs <music> Now it's getting warm. <laughs> wow, a lot of spiders, huh? You better don't walk alone at night here. <laughs> you become Spider-Man, right? Seventy percent of Taiwan is covered by mountains, so the first three days there was a lot of climbing with gradients up to twenty-five percent. <laughs> better after a descent now we starting to climb up in a thousand meter climb here we go going up <laughs> We actually had some bamboo for dinner yesterday. It was quite nice to be honest. I would like to see a panda. <laughs> yeah. We just did some pretty steep climbs, like 25% or something it was like a wall. <laughs> Starts tough today, I must say. Beautiful area up in the mountains. Really quiet road and the tarmac is like super.
you have some local stores in the villages, <laughs> but you have to pay with cash. So make sure to bring some cash and lease. Unless it's 7 Eleven, I think. <laughs> you want more? Now time for lunch. It's been like we've done like a 70k I think. Now we go into a traditional place for lunch. Let's see. This is a traditional place so again trying some local food. It is all rice. Mm -hmm. Try now with chopsticks. Let's see. Very good. Uh, now it's time for some snacks after the long climb. Was uh, I don't know, my legs were heavy after the lunch, I must say. Ready to roll? Ready to roll. <laughs> What do they do here? <laughs> they do here, they get her, they enjoy their life. So they, they collect the agricultural product here and then the broker will come here and buy all the products. So that's a proper place. And sometimes when they have a, like a village announcement, the, the leader of the village will call everyone here and then... So we are here on the way to the hotel getting uh, to the lake it's been a tough day with some climbing but there uh, are really beautiful landscapes looking forward to some relaxing now <laughs> so where are you getting donuts. taiwanese donuts yeah, I, just, I ride a long ways to get these donuts <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 No no for you. So now time for Taiwanese donuts. Day three here in Taiwan. So now Quick stop by a temple by the lake. So beautiful this area. It's sunny today. The weather is really nice, but uh, not too warm, like uh, 20 degrees. So this is an egg break. So here you have uh, some salty eggs and tea oh, eggs. Oh, tea eggs. Tea eggs. Tea eggs. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what do you think? Tea eggs? Yes or no? <laughs> so we're going up now like a hundred K with three thousand meters of elevation. Basically going up all day. Super steep but uh, really beautiful and uh, Perfect smooth tarmac. Big tunnel and you are allowed to ride here as a cyclist. <laughs> Pretty cool. Today we had some really cool descents with flowy roads and really nice tarmac. Pao. That's the drink of champions in Taiwan. Exactly. Huh? <laughs>
Jennifer, where are we? Where are we? I don't know where we are. <laughs> Somewhere really oh. high in the mountain. Do you know where we are, Sherry? No way. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I don't know we? what day it is. <laughs> so. Today is a Saturday. <laughs> mm, so in Taiwan is nuts. Source of power. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, just a little warm up. 500 meters of climbing. We're about to drop into a remote valley. And we're going to climb uh, uh, up the valley, kind of slowly but surely, and make our way to 2,650 meters. That is not the Taiwan killing. No, different, same mountain, different approach. Tea. Would you like to see inside? What's, what's breakfast of champions? It's a super pow? Super pow and tea super eggs. Super pow and tea eggs. Uh. These are eggs that taste like tea. <laughs> Good job, Rox. Yeah, man. <laughs> so here they cook the chicken. Wow. <laughs> Special chicken for lunch, huh? Oh yeah, we, we love special chicken, yeah? <laughs> Favorite dish. From wind and climbing up. What? No. <laughs> A lot of climbing today. <laughs> Getting warmer and warmer. But in general, quite nice, like 25, 27 degrees in the sun. Walking this hanging bridge. Landslide here. Oh. Wow, super beautiful sunset and road with the mountains. Wow. Four degrees over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Washed <laughs> really cold. I'm frozen. Good morning, day four. We are here up in the mountains. It's pretty chilly. We're gonna descend a little climb and then a long, long descent, like 40 kilometers. So let's see how it goes. But uh, yeah, chilly start, but very beautiful up here. So you can stay in hotels like this. They had like a traditional breakfast and the rooms were nice uh, with some heating, which I was happy about. Even when it's warm during the day, it can be quite chilly up in the mountains, especially in the morning. So make sure to bring a jacket. Coffee time. <laughs> 
here you have a lot of 7-Eleven, so there's no real uh, issue with resupplies. Actually, the 7-Eleven here has really nice things, I must say. So, if you are in Taiwan, 7-Eleven <laughs> has good coffee. Call for Spaniard. You will not shoot me, sir. Best kid. Quick break. I think we are halfway through the descent. Something like that. <laughs> halfway? No. Halfway. Did you see the cabbage farm? <laughs> A lot of cabbage here in Taiwan. You can see, it's delicious. I was positively surprised the cycling infrastructure was great and cars were very respectful towards cyclists. Time for lunch. Upstairs. Okay. Ooh. Really hungry now, so let's see what's on the menu for today. So we are here on this road by the seaside. It used to be the main road and now they have another road that goes through tunnels. But still, uh, super nice, like perfect tarmac. I mean, it's just amazing roads after amazing roads. Quick stop. <laughs> Waiting to be rescued. <laughs> I had to spend 1,000 and get 900 and eight, 980 change. Oh, thank you, I owe you one. So we got pokery, the famous sports drinks. If you are here in Taiwan, make sure to get one of those. Pretty good one. Good morning, day five. We are here in a nice hotel. It's like a small village, so all the people in the village work on in the hotel. It's here in the mountains, really nice food. Uh, we had a show yesterday night, and today is a bit of a rest day, so we're gonna go to some hot springs, and uh, from there we will cycle like 80 kilometers. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to relaxing the hot springs. One of the monkeys managed to steal a gel from our frame bag, so be careful with monkeys.
the road of the Taiwan KOM, you have to bear in mind that it's only open certain segments, uh, certain times of the day. So now we are stuck here for an hour <laughs> and a half, I think. <laughs> Let's see, maybe a coffee break with the monkeys. Seems like it rained in this area, but so far we had only sun, so pretty lucky. At least so far we escaped the rain. Let's see how it goes. A few kilometers to the hotel, now climbing up. Here you have your own lay, a bit like a cycling path. Wow, I'm working hard. We've been lucky with the weather all week, but today is a bit raining, so let's see how it goes. But this is easy day uh, by the seaside, uh, pretty flat, so we are now out of the mountains. We're gonna go to some uh, surf towns and uh, yeah, let's see. Quick stop at the Tropic of Cancer. Tropical weather. <laughs> yeah, really nice. So we are following the coastal road today. <laughs> Me too. Carbo loading for the day. Yeah? Red quinoa wine. Oh my god, I love donuts in Taiwan. They're so good. I mean, I don't really like donuts, but uh, these ones are not too sweet. It's like great fuel for cycling. <laughs> Highlight of the trip. Like the best donuts. It doesn't have pork inside, no? It's got some meat in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has pork. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it says huh? no, no riding the pig. Let me know in the comments what it says. <laughs> We are now out of the mountains following the coastal road by the seaside. No, I also got I got sesame. Mm. Oh my god. Sesame bun. Both this kimchi one by is... rice to pass through here mm. all the time. <laughs> this is great, yeah. The Doraemon ones are my personal favorite. Jelly. What what are all these um, plantations around here that we just Pineapple. Saw? Pineapple. Oh, very Pineapple. good. Uh, if you see the field just underneath, yeah. that was planted one year ago. A sprint price, the donut come. One more one yeah. time to today. So tonight we are staying in this lovely Airbnb run by a couple, really nice, uh, having the local experience. Good morning, uh, day seven, so 
One week ago we started our journey in Taipei and now is the last day of the trip. Uh, we are heading towards the south, so to the tip of the island and uh, today we will complete the crossing of the island. Uh, it's been so nice, the landscape has, uh, changes a lot. Today is a bit uh, rainy, so let's see how it goes. But uh, yeah, we stay in this amazing Airbnb, like awesome food, and now ready for the day. Time for lunch by the seaside. We just did the last climb of the trip. Now some lunch, still like uh, today is 170 kilometers. We've done like 120, so still 50K to go. I hope uh, no more climbing, just rolling. The tip of Taiwan at the end of our cycling trip here has been uh, wow, insane. I'm blown away by Taiwan. It's incredible, perfect, smooth roads, great food, everybody is super friendly, and the infrastructure is just great. I really enjoy my time here. Definitely coming back. Let me know in the comments are you planning a trip to Taiwan? Leave a comment below. Until the next adventure.